two people are standing on a merry-go-round that is rotating at a constant angular velocity omega. Person A has a mass 1m and is a distance 3r to the center of the merry-go-round. Person B has a mass of 2m and is a distance 1r to the center of the merry-go-round. Calculate these ratios A to B for angular velocity, speed, frequency, rotational inertia, and angular momentum. The two people rotate together on the same merry-go-round, so they have the same angular motion. So the omega ratio is 1 because they have the same angular speed. They rotate about the fixed axis, so V equals to R omega. So this is uh, the R for A is 3R. The omega is omega. For B, the R is 1R. The angular speed is also omega. So the omegas cancel, R's cancel, we get 3. Because the two people, they have the same angular motion, that means that they would have the same period and the same frequency. So this ratio is 1. The rotational inertia is, uh, we can treat the two people like point mass. For point mass, I is uh, mR squared. So the rotational inertia for person A is uh, the mass is 1m, the radius is uh, 3r squared. And then for the person B, the mass is 2m, the radius is r squared. So the r squared, r squared, they cancel, m's cancel, so this gives me 3 squared, which is 9, divided by 2. For the angular momentum, because I already have the i and I know they have the same omega, so for this case, it's probably easier to use L equals to i omega. So this is the i of the person A times the omega divided by the i of person B times the omega. Same omega for both people. So the omegas will cancel, and this we already found, it is 9 divided by 2. Now let's find the person A's tangential acceleration, radial acceleration, period, and the frequency. The tangential acceleration is r times alpha. Because the merry-go-round rotates at the constant angular velocity, so there is no angular acceleration. So the tangential acceleration is also zero. For radial acceleration, it is also the centripetal acceleration. It is v squared over r, but in this case, because we have omega, it will be easier for us to use the r times omega squared. So for person A, the R is 3R, and then the omega is omega. So this is the radial acceleration. And then the period. Period is the time it takes for person A to go around one circle. So it is the angular distance traveled divided by the angular speed. The angular distance traveled in one circle is 2 pi radians and the angular velocity is omega. So this is the period. And what is the frequency? Frequency is 1 over period, so it is the inverse of that, omega over 2 pi.